you cannot teach creativity. It's an oxymoron. Because, um, and there's book, been so many books written on this. It's like the Holy Grail. Big companies, multi-million, billion-pound companies that just want to be creative. And they think, right, come, I'll pay for it. Teach us how to be creative. We've been looking at this a lot recently. So one of the, we the, look at sort of some of the, the brand, one of the, the values of, of, of the company, the duck, of the, the ethos, the, you know, your sort of rules that you really want to live and die by. And one of them is something we call restless perfectionism. And restless perfectionism, the dishes of the duck like Sound of the Sea, Bacon Egg Ice Cream, the Liquid Nitrogen Service, the, the whole sweet shop concept. You can look at the dry ice release, releasing flavours of the quail, the quail jelly, the Mad Hatter Mock Turtle Soup. There's these dishes, which have taken years, it's not, the duck is not conventional. It's not a restaurant that goes, oh, look, there's some beautiful asparagus. Let's put it on with some morels and poached egg. Nothing wrong with that. Fantastic. <clears throat> but that's not the duck. The duck, the thing that, that, that makes the duck, the beating heart of the duck is, is, the, is the layers of narrative and context. It's, it's the fact that <clears throat> these dishes, you know, they have a life. It's almost they're born and then, and then they evolve. And so if you look at the layers for mock turtle soup and the fact that it's, it's a, a Victorian recipe based on a Victorian novel, and the, di the recipe is written and conducted in the spirit of Alice in Wonderland in the sense that we're creating a fob watch out of an old Victorian recipe for a, uh, for a consomme and we're reducing the consomme by cold. And you go, what do you mean reducing by cold? You can't reduce by cold, you reduce by heat. You put pan on heat and reduce. But you're reducing by cold because we don't want any reactive flavours to happen in the reduction. So when we then make this little concentrated fob watch wrapped in gold leaf as a tea bag, you then, you then pour hot water back on it and it turns into a beautiful consomme effect with gold. So the layers of that, the, the linkages from that to Alice as a story, the fact that I found the mock turtle in Alice in Wonderland, is if you look at the drawing, mock turtle is a turtle shell with a calf's head, calf's tail, calf's feet. Mock turtle soup is when the Victorians stopped eating turtles and um, made fake turtle soup using calf's head, calf's tail. So that character, no one's, ever, no one's ever written that. And you go, oh my God, that's exactly why. So there's so many layers to this dish. But there's no way people go, oh my God, how the hell did you just think of that? You don't. It, 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 it grows, it gets a life and it matures and it evolves. And that's, that's restless perfectionism. So you put give a dish and you stick it on its train tracks. Off it goes. But you're continually, continually revisiting it and it, it's restless and it's relentless and it never stops so bacon and egg ice cream has taken 30, 40, 50 different forms yeah, it's been on the menu on and off for 10 years but there's no resemblance now to where it did before and without that the, duck, the beating heart of the duck wouldn't exist so that's a really important part however the word perfectionism has no place in creativity it's an enemy of creativity it's negative for creativity it breeds um, fear so the idea for creativity is you have to be able to embrace the unknown. Embrace it. There is no wrong. There is no right or wrong. There's no failure doesn't exist with creativity. The moment you put the notion of the opportunity to fail, you've just killed creativity. Discovery, on the other hand, is a different thing. If you use the word discovery, you're just discovering. There is no right or wrong and there's no judgment. So... One of the things that people find very hard to get their heads around is somehow you have to mark, if you're going to mark creativity. The moment you try and apply a mark to creati creativity, and that mark means judgment. That mark means you're then being positioned against somebody else. You're being positioned against uh, maybe an accepted level. Creativity is dead. So you have to find a way. The only way to do it, really, there are, there are if you spend time with other creative people, you don't have any dead. You, well, you might have. You, we'll do this for a day. There's no deadline. There's no expectation. There's no right or wrong. There's no marking. There's nothing. Then, if you're out of your comfort zone, if you're in a place where you can't, you feel that there is no, there is no possibility to, to 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 make a mistake or fail. There is no right or wrong. Then people will become more creative. You can't mark it, and you can't force it. <laughs>